something that I'm feeling like I'm completely overwrought with at the moment are my thoughts and like just so much going on and going on in my head that I just can't like keep on top of everything so something that I'm going to start making sure I do from tomorrow is journaling so I've done journaling before and I like it but I don't want to do it like every single day because I think it's just one of those things that like it just becomes another thing on the list of things to do right and I feel as though if we if we try and keep the routine as simple as possible, the more likely it is that it's going to be successful. So I I don't I don't want to journal every single day. I want to journal when I feel like I need to. And I actually have a journal. I have a journal that I made actually that has got um like journal prompts in it and stuff. Um so I'm going to start off there. It's a really good place to start with journaling. Um, asks you different questions and stuff like that and brings your attention to like you, like what you're grateful for as well, which I think is also really important. I might talk about gratitude tomorrow, actually. Um, so that's where I'm going to start tomorrow is journaling, getting my thoughts out onto paper. And something else that I might actually do is write a letter to myself just to get everything out on paper um I'd be really interested to know if you've ever done that before have you ever written a letter to yourself I've done it a couple of times um sometimes I've done it more like ritualistically so I've done it as like okay I I don't want to keep feeling this way I'm going to write down how I feel and then I'm going to burn it and then um that's quite satisfying and then other times I've written a letter and then given them to someone to say like this is how I feel um and then other times I've written them to myself and actually I started doing that after um I had some counselling and my counsellor actually wrote me a letter reflective of the journey that we had been through in the 12 sessions of my counselling and every now and again I find that letter and I have a read of it because it reminds me of just how far I've come so I think that that's really valuable as well so there are different ways of doing those sorts of letters depending on what you're trying to achieve um so as I say you can just like get stuff out if you need to um you can try and like get rid of the feelings that you're having by like burning them um and you can also keep them to look back on, which is also really lovely when you look back at them like a few years later and see how far you've come. So, yeah, I'd be really interested to know if journaling is something that you do, if you've ever written yourself a letter um, or if you haven't done either of those things, whether just me chatting about them is giving you a thought that actually you might like to do that yourself. So let me know. I'd love to hear and I'll see you tomorrow.